2024 is looking to be full of surprising space game releases. Some of these titles are coming from the Leicester franchises and have the potential to bring us something very new to the genre. Beyond that, there's a great selection of space games coming from indie studios as well. Here then is a look at all the massive space games that are either releasing in 2024 or getting a brand new updates. Moon Mystery places you in the role of an astronaut set to uncover the greatest mystery ever known to humankind. It is designed as an adventure that focuses on unveiling mysteries, exploring new worlds and dealing with the challenges of space, the most dangerous environment known to humanity. Developed by Cosmos Scouts and published by Freedom Games, the game sets players against the backdrop of the moon that in this world is haunted and full of danger. Players are tasked with traversing the treacherous alien landscapes and vast abandoned buildings. The game also features a variety of vehicles for players to pilot, such as spaceships, lunar rovers and even a submarine as they navigate interstellar worlds and solve strange puzzles. Now, this looks to be a potentially very unusual title, yet at the same time, it may just present a compelling space-themed experience. The original Space Marine released way back in 2011, and like many people, I found it to be surprisingly good. Finally, 13 years later, a sequel is set to arrive. Space Marine 2 is set in the dark gothic universe of Warhammer 40,000, arguably one of the most detailed sci-fi worlds ever created. The game continues the story of Captain Titus, now demoted to lieutenant after being suspected of heresy. The player, as Titus, engages in both melee and ranged combat, fighting alongside AI-controlled space marines or with other players in co-op mode. The game is set during the era of Indomitus, with humanity facing a colossal threat from the tyrannids of Hive Fleet Leviathan and the forces of chaos. Visually, the game looks absolutely stunning. It's also perhaps the first time 40k fans have gotten the opportunity to see such massive and overwhelming numbers of tyrannids zerging toward the player. This just might be a game for the ages. Blood for the Blood God. Outcast was a game that stuck with me for many years. I first played it way back in 1999, and back then it stood out for many different reasons. Its visuals for the time were unique, the game world was vivid and captivating, and the story was very well executed. Jump forward a few decades and Outcast, a new beginning, seems to be aiming to recapture all of that. It features once again Cutter Slade, an ex-Navy SEAL who returns to the alien world of Adelpha. After being resurrected, Slade finds the Talons enslaved and the world depleted of resources. What's more, there's a past interwoven with invading robot forces. The mission is to save Adelpha once again, and gameplay involves jetpack-assisted traversal, weapon customization, and engaging with the Talan culture to unlock ancient powers. The game is presented in a handcrafted open-world environment with a brand new soundtrack from the original game's composer, an absolutely great choice as the original music tracks were perfect. Now, I admit I'm certainly a little biased on this title and probably more than a little bit nostalgic. The new Outcast though certainly has a lot to live up to, but if it delivers, it could very well be something very special. Space Trucking has always been a thing. From the days of the original Elite way back in 1984, people have always loved to move products and goods from one location to another. Interestingly then, Star Trucker takes the concept of Space Trucking very, very literally, providing with the player with a rocket-powered big rig. The goal is to transport cargo and salvage items across the cosmos. The game features an American-themed space adventure where players can interact with other interstellar truckers, complete various jobs, manage their truck systems and navigate trade routes. In true trucker fashion, it will also be possible to use an interactive CB radio for communication. As with many space adventures, long-distance travel will take place via warp jumps and yeah, there should be a lot of travelling. Ultimately then, all of this makes for an interesting and unique, and I guess very literal approach to the well-loved genre of space trading. So yeah, I can certainly see many players whiling away the hours, because we've got a great big convoy rocking through the night. Falling Frontier has been a feature in these videos for a few years at this point, and 
Unfortunately, the release date is somewhat of a mystery even still. However, one thing is very clear, the game remains highly anticipated. Falling Frontier then is a real-time strategy game set in space emphasizing ship design, reconnaissance and logistics. Players command an expeditionary force that has established a spaceport in orbit of a new planet. However, the star system is also inhabited by rivals from past colonial wars. The game features highly detailed procedurally generated star systems, I just love the look of this sim feature. Within these star systems, you are set the task of constructing various facilities along with the related technological research. Combat meanwhile involves strategy with the ship subsystem damage, whilst logistics play a crucial role in warfare requiring strategic resource management and distribution. Interestingly, crew members have unique identities which will directly affect the efficiency of the fleet and your individual ships. Moreover, some crew members are unique which makes them a vital resource that needs both protecting as well as ensuring that you assign them to key use. What's more, players can engage in intelligence activities with probes and scout ships to monitor enemy movements. Hopefully this one does arrive in 2024, it's certainly been a long wait at this point, but hopefully it's a wait that should be worth it. Homeworld 3 is the next entry into the legendary spacefaring real-time strategy series, and it's set for release in February 2024. Now, I played a preview build of this back in August, and there was a lot of good things to say about it. The game certainly contains much of the DNA from the previous titles. Now, as with those previous titles, players take on control of a fleet of interstellar ships and engage in strategic battles against enemy forces. The game's narrative picks up generations after the original protagonist, Karen Sajet, discovered an ancient hyperspace gate network. Now, with Karen missing, the galaxy faces a new threat known as the Anomaly, which is connected to her disappearance. The game promises to return to the series' roots with a bigger focus on story. People will be glad to know that the full 3D combat makes a full return, although this time within the environment players can make strategic use of the megaliths, the ancient vast vessels that are laying around. Now, a significant addition to the game at this time around is a new cooperative mode called War Games, where players manage to fleet strength and compete to claim powerful artifacts across a series of randomized fleet combat challenges, aiming to provide a fresh strategic experience with every playthrough. With the beautiful and unique tactical gameplay then, Homeworld 3 aims to uphold the series' reputation featuring space battles on a grand scale and the introduction of those megaliths and act as 3D terrain in space. Star Wars Outlaws is shaping up to be a unique entry into the Star Wars gaming universe. It diverges from the usual Jedi-centric narrative to follow the exploits of K. Vess, a nun force using opportunists on the run. Set between the Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi, players will navigate a galaxy filled with criminal syndicates and undertake a major heist. Now, from what we have seen of the gameplay so far, we can expect to see a mix of blaster shootouts, space dogfights and diplomacy. Also, crafting elements allow for upgrading gear and the game will include a wanted system. Perhaps the most intriguing part of Outlaws, however, is going to be the ability to fly between various planets. Whilst Ubisoft have confirmed that each world will be limited to a small map, those maps will still be much bigger than many of the Assassin's Creed games. Ultimately then, I'm certainly looking forward to having the opportunity to travel to worlds such as Tatooine. Now, Star Wars as a franchise is certainly starting to look a little bit long in the tooth of these days and is perhaps a bit overused. However, it's undeniable that it's easily one of the best franchises ripe for a true open world game. It's no secret that Everspace 2 is one of my favourite space shooters. It's an open world space game that just hits all the right notes. Now, developers Rockfish have said that 2024 is going to be a big year for the game, as they're currently focusing all their development efforts on a big new paid expansion. Additionally, a big free update is scheduled for spring 2024, and this update is called Incursions, and will deliver new legendaries, new front and ship engine modules, revamped endgame content and much more. Beyond all of that, unfortunately, not a lot is known just yet, but whatever is released is very unlikely to disappoint. 
Now, Starfield was easily 2023's most anticipated space game and likely one of the most anticipated games of all time. Now, it's true to say that the game missed the mark for a lot of players out there, but it's also true to say that many people enjoyed the game. Either way, one thing is sure, modders will dramatically change and improve upon the game. Fortunately, the release of the creation kit in 2024 will provide modders with all the tools they need to do this. The creation kit is essentially the same tool set that Bethesda used to create the game themselves, which means that models will have a lot of options and power available to them. Elsewhere in 2024, we can expect to see Starfield's first DLC expansion update titled Shattered Space. As of this recording, there's no official information on what the DLC will contain beyond the fact that it will be a story-focused update. If previous Bethesda games are anything to go by, we could expect to see a shattered space around six months after the game's initial launch, which would place it around March of 2024. Let's hope then it brings substantial content to Starfield. Now, the moon has always been a place of wonder, but it's also the setting for more than a few horror stories. Routine, then, is a first-person survival horror game set on an abandoned moon base inspired by an 80s vision of the future. The game incorporates non-linear gameplay with procedurally generated environments. Players must explore the Lunar Research Station to uncover the truth behind the crew's mysterious disappearance. The title features a roguelike system, which is potentially a nice addition for a horror game it will no doubt add to the threat and atmosphere a whole ton. Interestingly, the game has no HUD or scoring. There is, of course, a narrative focus though on the game, and that goes as far as it also offering multiple endings influenced by player actions. In another nod to the 80s, the player's weapon, the Cosmonaut Assistance Tool, also known as CAT, is upgradable with floppy disks. Additionally, a routine is expected to support VR at launch, which would provide for the perfect horror-based environment. The isolation of being set on a moon base really gives this game some potential, something to keep an eye on then. Star Citizen has been in development for a long time at this point, and it's still far from any full and final release. But that said, if CitizenCon 2023 was anything to go by, this game is making progress. At CitizenCon then, the long-awaited star system of Pyro was finally revealed, and shortly after that reveal was playable on a new test server to a limited group of people. The plan then is for Pyro to roll out to the wider player base, and depending upon when you watch this video, you may well already have access. Pyro then is visually stunning, from the rundown highly atmospheric space stations to the stunning nebula. And let's not forget the gorgeous planets. Yes, Star Citizen does have the best planet tech in the space games right now. Over the course of 2024, we can expect to see CIG continue to provide updates to Pyro and Star Citizen in general. Also, I want to include a brief mention of Squadron 42 in this section. By rights, this is an entirely separate game and perhaps should have its own section. However, its release date as of this recording has not yet been set. My speculation is right that it might release in late 2024. It seems equally likely that the release date could be much further out. What we do know is that CIG have confirmed that Squadron 42 is now feature complete and is now in the polishing phase. The footage of Squadron 42 has shown that it looks super impressive, and the game clearly has a lot of hype to live up to. Whichever way this one plays out, it's certainly going to be a title to keep an eye on. Now, no one knows what to expect from No Man's Sky in 2024 beyond the fact that there will be updates, and they almost certainly will be both very good and also very surprising. This based on the fact that the same has been true for all the previous updates. Now, interestingly, but perhaps unsurprisingly, No Man's Sky has been a massive earner for Hello Games. According to their public financial filings, a legal requirement in the UK, No Man's Sky generated £27 million in revenue in 2021 and a further £40 million in 2022. Clearly, all those free updates are paying off. No Man's Sky remains one of the best space games available today, with tons of updates added over the years, and many more to come. Whatever the additions in 2024 turn out to be, we can certainly expect the game to keep on improving. Now, at the end of this video, I want to give two very brief honourable mentions for games to look out for in 2024. The first is the potential release, although not confirmed release, of a Mass Effect 5. 
Unfortunately, Mass Effect lost a lot of its luster over the years, but if Bioware can somehow return to the magic of Mass Effect 1 and 2, then we could be looking at something very special indeed. As of late 2023, some teasers have been revealed of a Mass Effect potential new title, but any further details remain firmly a mystery right now. The second honourable mention is Dune Awakening. This is a massive survival MMO set on the planet of Arrakis. Now, Dune is my favourite sci-fi story of all time, possibly my favourite story full stop. It's a game then that I'll definitely be talking about a lot more in the future. So there we have it, look at some of the great space games coming in at 2024. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you guys and girls next time.